All right, Jesse on fire. And you know what? Rogan made a pretty serious accusation at Conor McGregor. And he not only just said, uh, he not only said, hey, I think that Conor did the Jeeves. It's not just that he did the juice. He's saying he's not sure he's going to be ready to fight because he did the juice. He went, he went deep in the weeds, dude. And I don't think that Connor's going to like it, dude. Connor historically has really not liked when people say that he did juice, even though he probably did juice. You know, he doesn't like it. And so Rogan is probably going to eat the wrath of Connor McGregor. You know who else he's going to eat the wrath of? A very specific group of people who really hate when you point out that they were born a different gender than they say that they are. You know, those people, the activists that are like, I might have a willy but I am not a person who would be named Willie. I'm a person who would be named Christina. Don't you dare. Don't you dare point out biological facts because I'll kill you, Rogan. I'll kill you. You are a scumbag, Rogan. So those people, because Rogan, after the uh, Tennessee shooter, uh, that whole thing, Rogan did an episode that I just recently watched. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Man, people start killing kids and Rogan is like, uh, hey, you know those gloves that I normally wear because I don't want to make people super mad? He's like, and they're off. And they're off. They're off now. And so uh, I would expect some massive backlash in the direction of Joe Rogan. And I want to not only platform the things that he said. I mean, <laughs> that's a pretty ridiculous thing to say. I, I just want to really help Rogan get a platform because like, it's not like people see what he says. I just want to make sure that everybody that watches my stuff sees what he said and that I want to also uh, sign off on every single thing that he said and then simultaneously just double down and, uh, you know, jump on the back of his, his arguments. Now, in addition to that, in addition to that, I wanted to show you guys something really quick. Now, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It's incredibly helpful. And also, you see this right here, the big hoax? This is my new show with the Osendairo. See these two guys right here? These are the dudes that chased down Jesse Smollett in the middle of the night. And they dumped a bottle of bleach on his head. And they put a fake noose around his neck. And then they grabbed his face and they noogied him. Now, you might want to know, like, hey, why did you do a show with them? Now, what you might not know is see the dude on the right? That's the 25th ranked WBC boxer in the world. And he's been boxing for like three years, four years. He's a killer. He was an Olympic boxer. He's a savage. So these guys are both fighters and they're now, uh, you know, they're, uh, what do you call it? Symbols of the resistance against woke nonsense. And uh, I wanted to show you guys just a super quick clip because I have a feeling that this is going to be right up your guys' alley. Uh, if you're going to like the video I'm about to do about Rogan, I promise you you're going to like the show. And the link will be in the description. Check this out. Uh, that yeah, uh, yeah, they yeah. do that shit a lot. Yeah, But so, um, if that's the right that they were fighting for, for kids to be trans, are people fucking insane? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> What the fuck? Are you saying yeah. they are? We were talking about how in Tennessee, the people who, who bombarded the Capitol, they did that because in Tennessee, they're not letting people uh, do transgender surgery on kids. So. Or are you yeah. just asking that question? No, yeah, they're fucking crazy. You have to be 18 to do everything. You have to be 18 to get a tattoo. You, have to you get the idea, right? It's going to be right up your guys' alley. Right up your alley. So go give that a run. The link is in the description. And uh, like I said, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do that. It is incredibly, literally, it's the only thing that makes me happy. When my subscriber base doesn't move in the positive direction for a couple of days, like I realize it's totally, uh, what's the right word? Um, unhealthy, right? Where I look, I'm like, oh man, man, I feel like I just don't like, I don't do stagnation. The reason why I'm always successful in my life is because like, if I'm not moving in a positive direction, I it's it's like, uh, acid in my mouth, you know, and that's kind of the stat that I watch. So if you want to contribute to my happiness, given that I work incredibly hard on this channel, that's how you could do it. Just subscribe to the channel and forget about it. Thank you guys. Let's rock. All right. So let's start with, let's start with this, what Rogan said about McGregor, and then we'll, we'll talk more about this. <laughs> The thing is like the USADA testing pool, I don't want to harp on this too much, but this is a giant issue for multiple reasons. Here's one, let's just speculate. Let's speculate he got out of the USADA testing pool. Mm -hmm. This is what I would imagine if I was a, a, a pro athlete at Connor's level and I broke my leg, 
you need help. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're not just going to heal off that eating mangoes and right. eating clean. Mm -hmm. You need some help. You know, right. I would say I would want that person to take something. I don't. I would. You would have to consult with a, an expert sports medicine doctor who mm -hmm. would tell you you want peptides, you want growth hormone, you want yeah. this, you want that, mm -hmm. you want all these things you can't take when you're in USADA. You sure. want testosterone. You want all these things. Mm -hmm. And you look at T Connor after that leg break. He got jacked ripped just yeah. gigantic yeah. like 200 plus pounds it looks like just huge fucking shoulders and like that's mm -hmm. generally not the result of natural hormones neither sure. is that it's generally the result of exogenous hormone use yeah. i don't know if that's true this is a lot of people are speculating not just me and then when you look at the usada testing pool and the fact that he's not in it that also hey no one here is passing usada just for the record comes in so now here's the thing you're in your 30s, you're 35 or whatever Connor is, 34, and you've disrupted your hormones with exogenous hormones. Now your body has to get back to... This is serious business here. ...to developing its own hormones. Mm -hmm. And so, generally speaking, when people take steroids, and I'm not saying you took steroids, but generally speaking, if someone takes steroids, is, say if you take steroids for six months, you need a year to bounce back to normal hormone levels after mm -hmm. that. Right. especially if you're doing it naturally you know a leg break of that magnitude like chris weidman he broke his leg in a similar way and he just oh, recently man. you guys get the idea right and that's a legit concern i had not really thought about that right i had not really and, and honestly if you guys are are genuinely curious in how this thing's going to play out if you can get a hold of Connor's USADA test when he does test, that'll be interesting, dude. You know, let's just see, like, see where his levels are at, you know? Because just because he's not on juice doesn't mean there's nothing to see there, right? Like, where's it? Where is home? Like, are, are they all out of whack? Because let me tell you something, dude. Now, I, I would imagine Connor probably did this under the supervision of a doctor. And so what Rogan is saying is, is true. But there are mitigating things that you can do to make that less of a problem. As an example, you can run HCG and Clomid throughout, right? So a lot of times people will do a cycle of testosterone or other things or whatever. And then when they go off, they'll take HCG, which is a, uh, it's a um, fertility drug for women normally, but it, it kicks your testosterone back on. So common misconception among many people is that you take that, you can only take that afterwards and that it won't work while you're on. That's not true. It's, it's completely wrong, actually. And to be perfectly frank, I actually think that there's a misunderstanding among everyone about how it works. Uh, and I'll tell you exactly why. So, and I'll tell you this just because I know there are a lot of people that, that are TRT people that watch my content. All right. So here's the deal. So normally HCG is taken after a testosterone runs to get your own testosterone back on. I don't think that that's how that works, okay? What I think is your testosterone turns back on in a certain amount of time, and in the interim time after you get off, HCG mimics the, uh, it mimics the uh, ah, I can't think of the right thing, but the thing that tells your body to produce testosterone, that your body stops producing when you're supplementing testosterone. And so the reason why I'm confident, and Clomid does the same thing. The reason why I'm confident in this is because I have been on TRT for years, right? And, uh, and I remember I, had n I was not on it when Giselle, when we had Giselle, she's 10, right? Like, so I was not on TRT then, uh, she's 10. I got on it after that. And then before we had my middle daughter, like I went and got my, uh, I went and got uh, like a sperm test done and I had a zero count. Now, obviously I have another kid. So this is like, this is, <laughs> this is 100% due to being on TRT for a long time. And so we were faced with this dilemma where it was like, oh no. And all the doctors are, oh now you just have to go off TRT. You know, you just have to go off TRT and then you could take these things, you know, HCG and Clomid and it'll help you, you know, like, and in about nine months, you'll probably, you know, you'll have enough sperm that you'll be able to knock up your wife. I was like, all right. And then, so we were researching this is like, how does it actually work though? And when we learned that the way that it works is it mimics the, you know, the messenger in your body that tells your body to produce sperm and testosterone or whatever. I'm like, why would you need to go off testosterone then? Like, I don't know, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would you need to go off 
if that drug right there, it tells your body to do the thing anyway. Why would you need to be off the supplemented testosterone? So I went to a doctor and I convinced him to treat me as a lab rat. I was like, look, dude, I want like, is it possible to stay on and simultaneously take this medicine that you give to people afterwards? He's like, I don't know. I'm like, how, how, like, what do you mean you don't know? How could you not know that? He's like, I don't know. There's no studies on it. I was like, how about I'll be your study? And I, he had to think about it. You know, like it was like not, an, uh, it was not like a quick decision. And I convinced him to do it. And so I stayed on supplement HCG and Clomid. And uh, three months later, uh, three months later, I got my first positive sperm test. Then I, uh, then I ran a, a, a four week cycle of growth hormone that I'd never done before just to like, just to really kick it into gear. And then Gabrielle was pregnant a month later. So, you know, normally it takes a year, like you get off TRT and then you do all this shit and then in a year. And I got that shit done in like three and a half months while not even going off TRT. And I did that because this stuff pretend like it mimics it in your body. Like it's not so like, I actually think that you can just run that stuff the whole time. The problem though, is that you could, you know, in Connor's case, you can't stay on that. All that shit's illegal. So his, his body's going to actually for real have to be making its own, you know what? So I don't have any idea that actually doesn't even apply to what <laughs> forget him. None of that shit applies at all, actually. Cause Connor is going to have to be on no HCG, no clomid, no testosterone, no nothing. And so depending on what he was taking, I mean, maybe he wasn't taking any of that shit. Maybe he was just taking HCG or uh, HGH who knows, or maybe he wasn't taking anything. But bottom line is, to Rogan's point, if he was on, it's going to take a while for his body to level out. Now, he doesn't look like his levels are off, though. Like, he looks good. He looks great, actually. He looks great. I don't know if he's taken any USADA tests. I don't know when he plans to do that. But uh, I could tell you this. If you've been on for a long time and you go off, okay, the reason why I was so apprehensive to go off then is because it's fucking terrible, you know? It's terrible. If you're used to having high testosterone and then you go to super low testosterone, it's fucking awful. You're depressed, you're lethargic, you have no energy. It's fucking awful. So, I mean, that's why all these guys who are on testosterone forever and then went off, they couldn't fight. Like, look at Brock Lesnar. For years, he's trying to, like, he's trying to get back so he could fight in the UFC, and he just never did. You know? Like, he was like, oh, yeah, DC is going to be fighting Brock. DC is going to be fighting Brock. DC is going to be fighting Brock. And then Brock, all, you know, after like, Almost two years, all, I'm just not going to make it back. Dude, why do you think that was? Because he didn't want to fight? Because he's been on testosterone for fucking 20 years. And his body, like, there's no way. Like, there's no way that he's going to be able to, like, get his body back to, like, even a remotely near performance level of what he's used to without, because, like, he's, it's just not going to happen, dude. He's been on for too long. It's exactly what happened to me. If I went off now, like, once you really commit, you're like, all right, I'm on, H I'm on TRT now. You're fucking on, dude, permanently, you know? Permanently. I've been on for fucking eight years, dude. There's no, there's no going back for me, but that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's the, uh, that's the choice that I made. But for guys who are in USADA, it's a completely different fucking ball game, man. You know, like you think Rogan could just go off. Rogan's probably been on for 20 years now. You know what I mean? So like, it just is what it is, dude. But for Connor, um, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how, like, I, I would assume he's off now. You know, and he seems like he seems like he's in good spirits. He seems like he's working out well. So I don't know. Maybe it's going to be a non-factor. But nonetheless, let's watch this part. Okay. So this is the other thing. This is the other thing that Rogan. Uh, that uh, that this is the trans thing. Okay. So this was like the, I just saw this, and this was after the. Uh, this was after the uh, the trans shooter. You know, lit up the uh, lit up the school in Tennessee. And where the hell is this, dude? Where is this video? I can't find it, you guys. I don't understand what's going on. So bottom line is this. He's talking to this dude and they're talking about how, uh, how the, like the, here you go. Hang on. Boom. And I was like, have you ever thought about how your what, medical the, mistreatment compares to other forms of medical mistreatment in history and she said without hesitation she goes yeah lobotomies Ooh. she's like you know so he's talking about he's talking about someone who had transitioned and then regretted it and then he's like can you like what would you compare your medical mistreatment to and she's like lobotomies if you don't know what a lobotomy is 
if you honestly, I'm going to say this right now. If you don't know what a lobotomy is and I tell you, you're going to be like, wait, what, what, what? Matter of fact, let me show you because you won't believe you actually won't believe it. Okay. Like, look at this. What is a lobotomy? Okay. Check this out. Think I'm playing. Think I'm playing. Think I'm playing, dude. Think I'm playing. A lobotomy, a surgical operation involving an incision into the prefrontal lobe of the brain formerly used to treat mental illness. Okay. What does a lobotomy do to a person? The intended effect of a lobotomy is reduced is reduced tension or agitation. And many early patients did exhibit those changes. However, many also showed other effects such as apathy, passivity, lack of initiative, poor ability to concentrate, and a general decreased uh, de decreased depth and intensity of their emotional response to life. Oh, geez. I wonder if that's because you cut out a part of their brain. Okay. So that little thing about the incision, they would literally crack open their skull and cut out part of their brain. And they're like, man, they're just, you know, this person was crazy. Now they're a lot calmer. You're all, you cut out the part of their brain that produces emotion. And they'd just be all, they're all, look, he's so much less crazy. Like he used to say all these crazy things. You're like, yeah, now he's a fucking vegetable. They're all, well, he's not saying crazy things anymore, is he? No, I guess he's not saying crazy things anymore. Well, he's, so he's cured. You cut out his brain. Well, he's not saying crazy things. You brought him to me and said, this guy's saying crazy things. And now he's not saying anything. I mean, you could have just shot him in the head and then he wouldn't have been saying anything either. That's not what we did. We didn't shoot him in the head. We lobotomized him. Just cut out a part of his brain. So I'll say thank you. That'll be fifty thousand dollars now. That was I, a I was like, one. "What's?" I know. I was like, "Wow." I was like, "What's?" A, you know, I was like, "What did? What do you?" You know, she was like, "Well, what's amazing is how how long they went on, how long we." I mean, with no, I mean, with they no benefits, right? You know, and mostly you're. I mean, John F. Kennedy's sister was lobotomized, and just you know, she was probably had schizophrenia. She was disabled. I mean, by the lobotomy. It's so a it's scrambling a scrambling of the brain. Yeah. I mean, it went on for decades. Oh, it's just, so, yeah. you know, it's they didn't scramble their brain. They cut their brain out of their head. They took like, here, here's your brain. They found the prefrontal cortex and they would cut parts of it out. Okay. Like, it's not like they were like, like, that's what they did. They cut out parts of your brain. Surgery to solve a psychiatric disorder or, yeah. or mental illness. And I was then also like, I was like, do you, I was like, do you ever, do you ever think that maybe transgenderism is a cult? <laughs> Just without hesitation, yes. It, you know, it's a cult. And well, they certainly behave like one. Yeah. You know, there's all these articles that came out about the misgendering of the school shooter, which is so oh, this is crazy fucking right now. wild. This is insane. First of all, that person's dead. By the way, Rogan's new term, just in case you are not clear on this, is when he says that's so wild... Wild in Rogan language means f like means fucking bullshit. Like that's his, you know, like where I would be like, are you fucking serious? Rogan saying that's wild. That's what that translates into. He says it about Bill Gates. Uh, fuck, I can't talk about that. Never mind. Okay, it doesn't matter if you call it a boy or a girl. That's a dead person who killed three children and three adults in a horrific way, went into a school and shot a bunch of people up. And it's a biological male. It's a bi He's wrong about this, by the way. Just FYI, don't get bent out of shape. They figured, as a matter of fact, actually, let's just skip to that part. For misgendering. I see. Some people have. Okay. Which must mean you're talking about a biological male. Right. Well, let's find that out. They figure it out. It's, it's, it's not a biological male. It's a biological female who is taking hormones and uh, my theory, my theory, antidepressants, okay? So like, I mean, when I first heard the story, I had the same reaction as Rogan because Rogan goes, he's like, he's like, uh, he's like, well, I guess that means testosterone is the problem. It's like partially, right? I mean, partially. But in my opinion, antidepressants, dude. And everyone who knows anything about SSRIs knows that one of the main uh, 
really serious potential side effects that's not uncommon is like violent psychosis where they either will do a thing like this or, you know, like that's really common. I like, uh, so a really good buddy of mine who, uh, I don't know anybody who saw me at UFC 270, uh, where it was in Ganu against, uh, against Cyril Ghan in LA. If, if you guys saw me, you saw me with a big ass dude, uh, who actually looks like me just plus 40 pounds. That guy, uh, he robbed a series of banks. He's like a, he's like a call. He's like me, dude. You know? Well, I don't know if you guys don't, I guess you guys don't know my history that well, but like, like me in that he's college educated. He had no criminal history. You know, like a person might see us walking down the street and be like, I mean, that looks like a dangerous person, but like, yeah, maybe, but like not a criminal, you know, the most criminal thing we would do is beat you up if you attacked us. You know what I mean? Like we're not, we're not criminals. He had never done anything criminal like that. And he robbed a series of banks at gunpoint. Okay. And it's because he had, he like, he legit, like I watched this guy. Now I didn't know he was doing this at the time. He's a really close friend of mine. And when he was doing it, I didn't know, but I, I like, I knew something was seriously wrong with him. Like where it was like, dude, what the, like him and his wife had split up and he would come to our house and I'm like, and I would say to Gabrielle, like this is when Gabrielle and I very, very first started dating. And I'm like, dude, I like, this is not what he's like. You know, like she didn't know him very well before that. Then he, she knows him really well now. But like, I'm like, dude, there's just something off, man. Like there's something seriously off. He was splitting up with his wife. He had just had a kid. He had like a really, really, really tough time. And he and they put him on antidepressants and he fucking snapped. Like he had like an actual like legit SSRI driven psychotic break, which is the only reason he only got five or he got, I can't remember. He got five or six years in jail for robbing like five banks. And that's because he argued in court he, that he had a psychotic break to SSRIs. And it's legit. He did. And so, like, you know, he didn't hurt anyone. But that's a, that's a fucking insane thing to do. Like, for me, for me, go fucking rob a bank? I would never do that a wife and kid. Well, I mean, they were splitting up. But you know what I mean? Like, that's not a thing I would ever do. And uh, And I think that, you know, and there's obviously tons of people that, you know. And I also think that without having looked super deep into this, but I would imagine that com- combination of, you know, I'm, oh, you know, so, uh, if you're at a doctor and they're like, yeah, let me give you hormone blockers or let me give you hormones. And they're like, I'm feeling kind of depressed. all here, let me give you antidepressants. I would imagine there's a lot of antidepressants that ba- that go through the trans community. That's what I think it is. I think you're talking testosterone and, and, uh, and um, SSRIs. And I think it's the SSRIs that would have a person go, oh, you know, trans day of vengeance, I'm going to shoot up a school. Okay. Which must mean... You're talking about a biological male, right? Well, it, let's find that out. Let's be <laughs> given a woman's well, name. Well, so that was uh, so. So you, it's a it's a female yeah. that took hormones. So it's a so is this the first ever biological female? I mean, first of all, this is shooter? Crazy. Yeah, I mean, this is. I mean, first of all, yeah, I mean, like, like, like biological women don't commit. You know, this is crazy. Many, I mean, I think it's like that's like that a is, tiny percentage of homicides. I. I am so confused because I swore I read. I think everybody's confused on this. Yeah. So yeah. this is a biological female. Well, I'm even confused. Are you confused? I found an article that says it was born Aiden Hale. Right. But I don't. That's why I'm confused. No, my understanding is that she's she was a natal female that transitioned to become a trans male. He, and that he. But that that he was then misgendered by the mainstream woke media as a woman. Oh my god! I mean, right? So this is why wow. this is a perfect case study. Wow. Is the new name Audrey was the original? Right. Oh, so when they called her Audrey, they were dead naming her. I right. That might be oh right. my god. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah. meanwhile, I thought I thought I was right, and I was right. dead wrong. Right. So this is the first ever school shooter that's a biological female. I don't know. Is that the is that true? I be- yes, it is. I believe so. Yeah. I believe so, which is crazy. Which also speaks to the effect of testosterone. Well, yeah. that was Yeah. That's the first thing I thought too. And and honestly, like my thing with the SSRIs, that's I, I can't validate that. But that makes much more sense to me than just like, you know, I mean, listen, or I mean there's we could we could also certainly call this out, dude. 
if you're like, you know what, Doc, I feel like maybe I'm a boy and you're a girl, there's certainly a level of crazy there, you know? No offense, dude. But like, I mean, there's certainly a level of crazy there. And then you add testosterone and SSRIs. Now, obviously, this is the first time something like this has happened as far as I know. But like, I mean, we're yeah. speculating. I don't know. But if I mean, this I'm person assuming, was on testosterone. Assuming he... Because I don't want a dead name. Uh, well, you're not dead. Don't get careful, guy. Naming by saying he, you're misgendering. Oh right, no, I'm saying you don't no, know. no, you don't no, 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 no. Saying she would be misgendering, which is what everyone did because it's a fucking girl. Okay, look at a, <laughs> a person who murders kids has forfeit their. Uh, you know, like like here's here's my whole thing. And we, I've been talking for how long? 25 minutes? Okay, so I can talk pretty freely. You know, when you get 25 minutes into a video, people are like, all right, they obviously like the guy. He can speak pretty freely. I'm going to speak pretty fucking freely here, okay? So if you are a biological man and you go, you know what? I think I'm a girl. I am a girl. It's like, okay. And they're like, I'm going to grow my hair out. I'm going to take, I'm going to take estrogen. I'm going to grow some boobies. I'm going to wear a dress. And now my name's Kim. My, I'm not Tim anymore. I'm Kim. I'm like, all right, Kim. Cool. I will call you Kim. And she, I will call you she. And her, I will call you her. That's fine. I don't care. I mean, listen, I'm self-conscious because I don't really look like a girl yet. I don't care, dude. If you're wearing a dress, I obviously know you think that you're a girl. I'll call you a girl. You know, I'm not a dick. I'm not some kind of fucking asshole. I will be, I will be courteous to you because why would I not? You know what I mean? Like you're all right. All right. She now, I mean, you make me feel a little bit uncomfortable, so I'm probably not going to like, you know, ask you to be on my fucking bowling team, but I'll be courteous. You know what happens to my courtesy when you shoot and murder nine year olds? Not so much anymore. Fuck you and your gender ideology. You know what I mean? It's like, Oh, oh, you, oh, you killed a kid, dude. You killed a kid, a, a kid younger than my oldest daughter was 10. Okay. You think I give a fuck what you want me to call you? He, she, whatever you're, whatever you're, you're, whatever you didn't want to be, you know, like you're the exact, you're, you're the exact opposite of whatever you wanted me to call you. That's what I'm gonna call you. The opposite, you know, like if you're a dude and you wanted me to think of you as like a tough guy, then I'll just call you a little bitch. I'll call you a pussy, you know, like, yeah, I went, out, I went out hard. I shot kids. I'm like, you're a pussy, you know? Oh, I wanted to be a boy. You're a fucking girl because you shot kids, okay? There's where, there's, there's where my courtesy goes when you murder children. <laughs> you don't even know what you're doing. This is all nonsense. I know it is. You're saying it he, is. by saying he, you're not dead naming. Uh, right by saying he i'm um, by saying giving Audrey. him the name that he yeah. wanted Aiden. which was he wanted to be a he even though he oh, was a biological boy. female what what a he shot kids dude like i he shot kids she shot kids don't do this bitch any favors that's no, we sure. have to do for this craziness. You made this. I think you had this. I think you were the first one that really said that drew attention to like that all this, all the confusion around sex and gender was a symptom of cult of civilizations in decline. Yeah. Well, yeah. Douglas Murray pointed that out to him. And uh, actually, I had heard uh, Douglas Murray say that also. All right. So I am going to end this video before I get in trouble. I love you guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Let's do this. Peace.